So as you guys might know, I actually opened up the new Coridon EX Battle Deck, which was actually pretty solid. It had some pretty solid trainer reprints. And today we're going to open up its counterpart, the Maridon EX Deluxe Battle Deck. Now this is a level 2 deck. This is for those young trainers who have started off with the EX Battle Deck, the level 1s, the beginner decks, and want to enhance their play. Uh, maybe get some attacks with some effects, maybe get some nice Pokemon abilities, and just kind of ease themselves into the game of Pokemon and play at a more competitive level. And one of the things about the Deluxe Battle Decks versus the EX Battle Decks is usually the EX Battle Decks are very, very basic. They have cards like Nimona in them, which is just a standard draw three, Youngster, and like Pokeball and Great Ball, like just cards that are not very good. Potion, for example. And these decks tend to be a little bit more playable. They tend to give you multiple copies of some playable trainers. If you guys want to see the full list here, you can go ahead and pause it right there. But they tend to give you a little bit of uh, a mixture of like good cards and some mild cards, like some decently playable cards. And today we're going to kind of open this up and see what's all inside of this and determine if this product is worth it. Now, MSRP for this product is $24.99, but you can find these products for much cheaper. EX battle decks, like pretty much any starter deck, any battle deck, um, vendors tend to sell those for way under retail because they are some of the hardest products to move as a vendor. If you are a vendor and you picked up this product, it is probably going to be really hard to move it because most people are not interested in battle decks. But this battle deck does come with a really cool Maridon coin. It's very dark, but it looks really cool when you get it under right lighting. Like, look at that. Really cool Pokemon coin. Then you get a playmat. It's your basic playmat. Obviously, if you want a true playmat, you upgrade to something as pretty as this. You get a little guide to show you how to play, and then you get uh, your little damage counters. Once again, you want to upgrade to your ETB dice, which I don't have any on me, but those are the dice that have the counters on the sides. A little bit easier to keep track of than using these paper counters. Then you get three EXs. You get two of Maridon EX from, I believe that's Temporal Forces, and then you get one Iron Valiant EX from Paradox Rift. So you can tell just by the look of this that this deck is going to definitely be a theme deck based on future Pokemon, just like the Maridon deck or the Coridon deck was based on ancient Pokemon. So one of the things that um, is going to really hurt this deck compared to the other one is there's not going to be a card like Earthen Vessel in here. There are going to be some solid trainers, but Earthen Vessel is just such a really powerful and a really high dollar trainer. It's like four to five dollars right now as of recording the video. So there is no future trainer that I'm aware of that has anything close to that value. So most of your trainers in here are probably gonna be somewhere between the five cents and 50 cents range, which kind of hurts the value of what you're getting out of your product. Because once again, Iron Valiant's not a highly, highly top ten, a contender card. Right on EX, not a top contender card. Future decks in general, just not as popular. Uh, so there is a lot that uh, ends up hurting this deck just from the get-go. And I think if you ever go to a store and you see these decks flying off shelves, I think the uh, Coridon deck will have a better chance of flying off shelves just because there's more playable potential coming out of that deck. But once again, you do get some deck exclusives like this theme deck exclusive Maridon EX. The regular version of this card from, I believe, Temporal Forces is a holo rare. So to get a non-hollow rare, you have to buy a theme deck or a build and battle kit to get those. You get your youngster, your future booster energy capsule. Once again, these cards, I mentioned this with the uh, ancient energy capsule, that these cards tend to tank in value because they got reprinted. They were in two separate sets. So they were in uh, Temporal Forces and Paradox Rift and they just don't have the value. You got Switch, Techno Radar, not a bad card, Iron Hands. Iron Valiant. So you got a lot of uh, future Pokemon, but nothing that's necessarily playable. You got Professor's Research. Once again, those have been reprinted like crazy. Turo's Scenario, which is a solid card, but not as good as uh, Sada's Vitality. Rika, Energy Retrieval. This has been printed like crazy. Cypher Maniacs Code Breaking, a great card. Uh, this one, it, like when the set released, this card was hyped up and it was going for a couple of dollars. Now it's a more bulk trainer, but it's still a good trainer. Boss's Order is always a good card to see. Once again, another Youngster, a Maridon, 
a switch, another research, Iron Jugulus. So you see a lot of future Pokemon, a lot of cool Pokemon, but nothing in here is like screaming that it's very playable. It's not anything that's like massively playable top contender. Nest Ball is a pretty solid trainer card though. But you see here like compared to the other deck, we still got our Super Rod and Boss's Orders, but there's no trainer in here that's like massively overvalued, massively playable. And that is what's hurting this deck. I know I sound like a broken record saying that, but we've gone through pretty much every card you're going to see in this deck. It does give you multiple bosses orders, unlike the Coridon deck. Coridon gave you one bosses order. This one at least gives you two, which is very nice. Bosses order is always a good trainer card to have, especially the one with Getsis on it, because I'm a big fan of Getsis. And then, once again, as we close off, nothing that really screams out you do get one more boss's order which is nice but boss's order has been available for a long time it's been available since i think rebel clash and um it's just been uh reprinted multiple times with different trainers on it i believe there's a lysander version there's a giovanni's version there's a gets this version so boss's order is just readily available a cyrus version as well so when it comes to like everything in this deck most of the stuff you can probably get for under a quarter. Minus the boss's orders. These go for about 50 cents. So, in my opinion, this deck has much less value just automatically inside the box. There's nothing in here that is massively playable or that is massively overvalued that you would prefer buying this sealed product for those trainers, right? Everything in here, you can probably buy for much cheaper than the sealed product itself. Now, I get that when they make the EX Battle decks for the Crydon, they want a counterpart. They want a future counterpart. But just with future Pokemon, there's not much options out there that would really help you increase the value of the set, especially when it comes to your commons and uncommons that make up most of the deck. With your Ancient, you have a couple of trainers that actually have some solid value. So for me personally, I think the Crydon deck's worth it, but I don't think the Maridon deck's necessarily worth it unless you just wanted to have one in like your sealed collection on display. If you collected like sealed decks or if your kid just wanting to find a deck that's fun to play with your friends, this might be a purchase. But if you're a collector, if you're somebody looking for some value out of your product, or if you're somebody who actually plays the TCG on a competitive level, this is one of those products where I just say it's a hard pass because there's not anything in here that you really benefit from buying this product sealed versus buying the singles on the open market. Even the coin is cool, but it's not cool enough to warrant spending 15 to $25, depending on where you find this product from. So for me personally, Crydon is a buy as long as those earthen vessels are decently valued. But Maridon, I'm sorry, as much as I love Violet and as much as I love you over Crydon, your deck is just not worth it. Anyways, guys, that's just my review on this Maridon EX battle deck. Let me know down in the comment section below. I cannot talk today. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think about this deck. Is it worth the purchase? Would you buy this deck if you found it on a Walmart shelf for $24.99? Would you buy this product on sale for $14.99 from your local LGS? Or do you think this product, no matter how much it's priced, it's just a hard pass? It's kind of debating on how much you value everything that's in this stack that's in my hands right now. Because obviously your EXs are cool, but this is about $3 in EXs at most, maybe four. And it's not gonna make up the bulk of your value. The bulk of your value with these kind of products usually comes from what's in here. And I think with the future deck, unfortunately, there's just not much that you can really gain from the value of your main deck. The deck's really cool. The deck looks fun to play if you were to play the Crydon versus Maridon matchup together with these two battle decks. But I just personally think that this right here not really matching up to 14 plus dollars so for me personally it's a hard pass but i know everybody has their own opinion so i'd like to know it let me know down in the comment section below and as always guys thank you for watching remember to keep it classy and stay awesome